This one is going to be so fun because we are literally about to play dress up. Behind me, I have pretty much my most special vintage dresses. And this is probably one of my top requested videos of sharing my vintage dress collection. I'm gonna try to remember all the prices. I think I can on all of these ones. My vintage love of clothing, is it a vintage love? Yes, it is. <laughs> it came to me long ago. As you know, I grew up going to garage sales with my mom and it seemed Seems like we would always find some really great vintage clothing at, at rummage sales and stuff. And back when I was a little girl, I didn't know what vintage clothing was. I would just like get some fancy party dress because I thought it was fun to play Barbies in. And I once had this dress, I'm gonna ask my mom for a picture, but this, this blue satin dress, I think it was from like the eighties. It was our neighbor's prom dress at the time. And I begged my mom to wear it for Halloween. And so she put all these like glittery bright stars on it. And I had this like glitter Tira that my mom like did some kind of adhesive glitter all over. I remember just being covered in sparkles all day and I felt like so beautiful at school in this ugly prom dress. But ever since then, that's like where my love of vintage like came from. It was always in my heart, you know? Um, but you'll see a lot of different silhouettes here, but you're gonna see one repeating quite a lot because I always talk about the fitted waist and full skirt of the 50s that I love so, so much. I've also included some older pieces in here and I'm gonna be trying all of these on so you can see exactly how they fit and how they move. <laughs> now this is a fun one. I believe that this one is probably from the 1960s and it's really interesting because it looks like back in the day whoever owned this actually had it tailored or kind of custom altered to fit them and lucky for me this person was the same exact size so this one almost feels like it was a tailored dress for me. Last year my mom Mom and I went to this really great little antique mall and I picked this up there for only $10. I can't recall what the right word of this kind of cotton is. It's kind of textures and stuff. Is that called picking, picking cotton? I can't, pinking cotton? It's something with a P I remember. But it's from Myron Frank Portland. That's, that's really, really cool. As you know, I live in the Oregon Valley. So it's really neat when you can find something that was locally made back in the day. I just love this one. It looks so cute and colorful. You know, I'm a huge lover of roses and it looks great with with a cute little red shoe. Let's do, oh, is this the most expensive? I think this is my most expensive one up here. This one I paid $50 for, but like, oh, it's so cute. I like to call this one like my adult Shirley Temple dress. This is definitely 1950s. It has this really great chiffon overlay of a, like a velvet little red dot over it. It is so, so cute. It has this giant sash and when you turn around, oh, glory look at this big red bow i just this is what really like drew me to the dress was this giant ridiculous bow on the back and what's really really great about this is all of like the crinoline is all built into the underlayment of the skirt i do like to add a little petticoat on underneath especially if i'm going to be taking photos or doing some kind of fun video stuff it just adds some more poof and it really adds to the silhouette of these vintage dresses from the 50s i just i love doing that and, and texture always translates so well in photographs and in movement. This is definitely one of my faves, but I think this was the most expensive one. <laughs> Before I started making this video today, I was standing in the shower thinking, you know, as you do, I was thinking, you know, when I am a senior citizen, these dresses are gonna be like a hundred years old. That just like blew my mind to think that they are really old. You know, some of these are like just nearing the corner on a hundred right here, but that was just so amazing to me. And I think these dresses are getting harder and harder to find. So if you do see them out at an estate sale or like at Goodwill, if you're out shopping, definitely pick them up because there are a lot of collectors out there. If you don't like to wear them yourself, this is a really great chance for you to resell things because I do know a lot of girls that are in the fashion design especially when I had my antique booth, they would come in and buy some of the dresses, even if they weren't in the greatest of condition and they would kind of take them apart and see how they were made so that they could refashion and repeat some of these dress patterns because some of them you just, you literally can't find anymore. Okay, next, oh, this one came with a really cool story. This is a an all cotton dress. It's kind of like that swing style again. It's a little bit big for me though, especially in the bust area, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I might like tailor this a bit and nip it like on the on the underarm part of it to kind of give it a little more fit for me. But my mom got me this really cool blue dress at a farm estate sale. I, I just wished I could have gone. Uh, it sounds like the coolest estate sale, but she said that she like walked into this literal room of all of this vintage clothing and everything there was $2 each. Like what? So my dad went with her, this was like years ago, and my dad went with her to this estate sale and like if you go shopping with your husband they always just disappear on you I, you know it's like where's your wingman huh <laughs> i can't just take off so my dad took off i wasn't there and my mom's like trying to like snag some vintage clothing for me because there's all these people just like grabbing stuff at this estate sale because it was so great but she got me these two amazing pieces okay the cotton one i showed you that let me i'm gonna go get the sequins right now because i don't want to forget this it's spectacular i think i wore this for one of my christmas tour videos but this set was so heavy it literally broke the hanger in my closet so this is the top it's totally 60s like can't you see this on mad men or something oh man when my mom showed me this i like lost my mind because these sequin tops you i feel like you see these a lot you know when you go to antique malls or those vintage clothing stores but you never see them with the matching skirt look at this baby it's so gorgeous i've actually worn this as a separate and i'll just pop on like a little cashmere sweater with it or something but it's the matching pencil skirt it has these beautiful beautiful a b oversized sequins on it with glass beading and it's like a really really soft soft wool and it's all lined with silk oh feels like a dream this thing weighs like 15 pounds though but i love it <laughs> Oh yeah, $2, can you imagine? All right, next up, I think this one was $30 because this was at an antique mall. Um, this one I thought was really beautiful. I think this one is more early 60s. It's not, it's not 50s, even though it's got that fitted waist, full skirt kind of business. But the silk chiffon was really, really fabulous on this. I love the bodice. This was something I've never seen before. It's got like kind of a net mesh looking bodice and then all of this hand beaded floral work on it. It's just really, really stunning. I really enjoy silk chiffon, like especially for special occasion type dresses. The chiffon feels not only amazing on your skin, but the way they just move and kind of flow as you're walking, they're just really, really elegant. This one did have a couple spots on it, but I was able to bring it to my local dry cleaner and have them clean it. That's something I always get asked about uh, with my vintage clothing is how do you clean these pieces? So with my tool dresses, I only have a couple of those. Uh, but they're like that, you know, like that rough crinoline tooly stuff. I can actually wash those myself. I usually do it in the bathtub with a little bit of either wool light or OxyClean and I just hang them to air dry. But these ones that are silk, you never wanna get wet for lots of reasons. It changes the texture of the silk. It can change the actual shape of the garment, which is really sad because I've destroyed some over the years. And with silk, if you get it wet, a lot of times the fabric dyes can bleed and run. So it's just not worth it. If you have a good dry cleaner that you like, that's what I 100% suggest. I usually get my dresses dry cleaned once a year. Um, I hang them in the closet. I usually have like little plastic sleeves for them to go on. I wear a decent deodorant <laughs> when I wear them so I'm not sweaty. <laughs> that helps, but I just, I just try to get them cleaned once a year. It prolongs the longevity of them. And you also, you don't wanna put them away for a long period of time with any kind of makeup or sweat buildup on them because you can actually disintegrate a lot of these fabrics like the silks and stuff. So it's good to get them cleaned and taken care of because they're like little babies. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of us subscribe to the same YouTube channels and I was watching Annie Jaffrey's channel and she's so sweet and just like really calm and elegant. I really enjoy her channel. But she was talking about like these incredibly comfortable shoes and I was like, I have to try these. So I was gonna share them with you too. I. I'm not a girl that can wear high heels and I don't know how some of these girls wear them all day. So when I found Vivaya, I was like in heaven. I can have like a really beautiful, elegant look that I can wear with my vintage dresses, but have comfortable feet. I'm telling you, there is nothing like having uncomfortable shoes because you can get an attitude in a hurry, girl, I'll tell you. <laughs> These Vivaya shoes, these are the Aria 5, and they're really neat because they're all water resistant. And what I love about these, because they're a lighter shoe, I can walk outside, I can play in the grass with Millie, I can walk on the sidewalk, and you could just like 
pop these in your washing machine and wash them up completely water resistant and they're really really durable they have like the softest insoles in them too and they're made completely of recycled materials okay whenever i'm like looking for shoes i do like flex test and like if your shoes can go like this that means you don't have to break them in and they're like already going to be comfortable. Oh, I just love these. It's kind of like a stretch knit type of texture. They hug your feet really, really nicely. And this kind of like elongated toe, I think looks really, really beautiful and elegant. I have narrow feet and they just like hug it really nicely. I don't have any kind of slippage. And they also have that back padding here along the back. You know, a lot of little flats can kind of slip on your heels. These are super comfy. And what I love most is that I don't feel like a little girl I've tried flats in the past and whenever I put them on, I kind of feel like a little child wearing them, but I feel like these are very ladylike. The Aria 5 style that I have here has a nano protective shield on it. So it's like a really, really thin layer over top of the fabric that keeps it protected from any kind of spills or dirt that you might come in contact with. And they're breathable, which is nice because I am I hate wearing pantyhose and I definitely don't like to wear socks if I'm wearing any kind of heel or a flat. So you're not gonna get sweaty feet. <laughs> <laughs> right, these have a little bit of a kitten heel. They're more like a slide style, but I thought this mustard yellow color was really pretty. This kind of reminded me of a 1940s style shoe with this kind of like knotted detail over it. And they feel like a little sweater on your feet because this stretch knit just like really hugs them. Anyhow, if you want to check out Vivaya, you can use my code VBO15 for 15% 15 off your order and follow the link in my description box. This one is very special of all the dresses up here because this was my mom's wedding dress. My grandma made this for my mom. My mom and dad got married when my mom was 19 and my dad was 28 or 29. He's an older man. <laughs> But I just thought this was so cute because my parents got married in the 70s and it has this really cute wildflower print on it. My mom was like little tiny thing. I think she was like a little size two and she, my mom's really petite and, and short. So he's like so cute and little. So I don't think that this will fit me. I'm going to try. One of the things I was thinking of, I don't know if that would be good or bad to do, but I, I would love to be able to wear this, you know? And I was thinking how nice it would be to maybe somehow get it like altered a bit or maybe like taken up to a knee length because I think it's about it's like kind of an awkward T length on me because like I said my mom's shorter than I am but maybe have it taken like to a T length and maybe they might be able to use like the remaining fabric to expand the waistline area for me I don't know I just it's fun I've had it in my closet but I've, I've never been able to wear it all right I'm trying on mom's wedding dress <laughs> okay Oh my gosh, I remember trying to put this on when I was a little girl and I was like, I was too little for it. I bet you I'm too big for it now. Oh, wasn't the print fun? <gasps> my mom wore puffy sleeves back in the day. I wouldn't have taken my mom for a girly girl, but look at, no wonder I got it from my mama. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Is it gonna fit? No. It's tight though. <laughs> I think if I had someone to help me, it might zip. Mom! Oh my gosh, my mom was a little string bean. Oh, it's tight right there though. I wonder, I bet somebody who is a good seamstress could somehow like maybe let it out or add a little. Remember how I was saying that, um, I might want to take a little bit off of the bottom to like, I like that kind of T link just past the knees. Maybe somebody could like use this excess fabric to expand the waist. Are any of you ladies a good seamstress that might be comfortable doing something like that for me? Please send me an email at hellovintagebombshell at gmail.com if this is something you think you could do because it would be really fun to be able to wear my mom's dress. Up next, this one is so beautiful. I love lace, as you know, and this particular gown reminded me of that net lace that I love so much. I have some net lace curtains, and I also have a couple net lace bedspreads, and it's the most delicate, beautiful lace because it's all hand done, and it's just like, it's so soft and the netting itself is really, really thin. So this is the first time I've ever seen a garment that's actually wearable made out of this net lace. So I think this one was $45, if I recall, and it fits perfectly. I like to wear this in the fall. I actually put, this is a 1930s bias cut slip, and I like to wear the slip underneath because the way the peach color comes through, it really, really makes all of this lace work and detailing pop underneath the mesh dress 
closet itself. So I, I just love that pairing together. And with like a really cool cowboy boot in the fall, I just love this look. <laughs> I'm literally working up a sweat trying on all these dresses for you. Okay, this net lace dress I know fits. I know it does. So let's pop this on over the top of my slip. This beautiful slip that I'm wearing too, I just had this for years. Um, my parents went to a garage sale, garage, I think like 10 years ago, got this thing for a dollar, but I, I just had it forever and it's all silk. It feels really nice. Ooh, <laughs> this is why I love net lace. Oh, and that works so beautiful. I mean, it's got some problems, got little stains on it and this, this arm has a few little holes, but I think if I just got a white thread or an off-white thread like this, um, you wouldn't be able to tell, you know, like the, the mendings or anything, but I can't, this one I do need help buttoning it because the whole back of it has those little um, hook and eye, little buttons on it and stuff. But I have worn this girl, I know that it fits, <laughs> but isn't that pretty? Look at that length. This one I think for sure was a wedding dress back in the day, but the Vivaya shoes, like, aren't these beautiful? Just like that really elegant, pointed flat like that. I mean, you could totally wear a heel or like I was saying, I wear a cowboy boot with this sometimes, but for something a little bit dressier, like these little flats, I think look really beautiful. Um, and plus it's like, oh, so elegant, right? I wish uh, I wish you could still find dresses like these or and girls wore these kind of silhouettes still. I just think it's so elegant. Love lace, love. I don't know if this is gonna fit me either. I, I'm gonna do a try on. If you see me wearing this, I guess it ended up fitting me. Uh, but I, no, this is the most expensive one. I keep changing my mind. This one was $60 because I just fell in love with it. But this is this is where I'm at on vintage dresses. You're only ever gonna see one. I don't know anybody else who has, this is how I justify what I do. <laughs> I don't know anybody else who has one of these vintage dresses and I guarantee you, like if you went to the mall, you probably would not find a fabulous dress for under 60 bucks, you know? So that's how I justify it. And these babies are gonna be here for a hundred years. <laughs> so there. <laughs> So $60 seems like a bargain, right? This one was so beautiful though. This is another net lace one. It actually had the original slip underneath and it's got some beautiful, beautiful ruffle detailing on it. I got this cause I was gonna wear it for one of my photo shoots for my website. And for those of you that are new here, I have an online boutique, thevintagebombshell.com. So you can see some of the pretty things that I find on my website as well. But I like to find vintage dresses that I can wear for my photo shoots. And I thought that this one would be especially beautiful because it's really soft and romantic and look at that bottom ruffle i think that this was a wedding dress back in the day because you typically don't see whites or creams for special occasion or everyday dresses i guess a wedding is a special occasion i do think this was a wedding dress it's such a beautiful piece <laughs> no everything does not fit me <laughs> i uh I got this dress, but they didn't have a dressing room at the antique mall I went into. It was more like a, like a warehouse with a bunch of junk in it. Um, so <laughs> yeah, I guess I won't be wearing this for a photo shoot. I don't, I don't think this is gonna work. And I don't wanna pull on it because it's so delicate. Will it go? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say it's too small for me, but the, look how the cool the bottom would have been. Those ruffles. This one was only $8. I was like, how is this possible? I don't have a lot of black in my closet. I'm going to eventually be showing you my my closet, my dressing room area this summer because I'm finishing up some exciting stuff in there. But you'll see when you look at like my rainbow of stuff, like I, I normally color coordinate all my clothes and stuff. And my black section, it's only like this big. I'm, I'm typically someone that likes to wear a lot of creams or I like to go all in. We're gonna wear color today and be fun. But I, when I saw this vintage dress at the antique mall, I just was like, that's it, that's beautiful. I was thinking how gorgeous it would be for like a Christmas time party to wear with some beautiful vintage rhinestone jewelry, some big like fun earrings or something, and a red lip. Like, oh, I just love putting like the whole look together. But this one was so gorgeous because it has the crinoline skirt again, like built into the, oh, look at that too. I forgot what it looked like. It was the little black piping underneath. Oh, that's cute. No wonder I liked it. <laughs> But this one was only $8 and the antique booth owner, they already had this one dry cleaned. So it's like perfectly pressed and beautiful. I love the bodice on it too. The way these like little kind of like curves go around your waist, it kind of like hugs it and gives someone like me who's pretty straight up and down a little more of a curvy shape. So I thought this one was super beautiful. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had so much fun seeing some of my favorite vintage dresses that I've collected over the years. I am curious if 
you like to wear vintage clothing yourself. And if you do, let me know in the comments which era is your favorite. I don't think it's any secret which is my favorite. So thanks for watching and subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.